this video is to show you how to do the exponential trend method. Uh, first thing we need to do to do it is to uh, create this column of log of y's. So let's say it wasn't in here already. How I do it is the following. I'm just going to call it log of y, it's a header, and I'm just going to take literally the log of each of the y values. Then copy that the whole way down. This is going to be my dependent variable I'm going to feed into the regression, and my x's are going to be my independent. Then we go to data tab, data analysis. Again, if you're unsure how to load this, look at the linear trend video. Go to regression, click OK. And as for your y's, they're going to be the log of y column. And your x's are going to be your original x's, these guys here. Check off labels, confidence level at 95%, and output range. I'm just going to put it over in G3 to give me some room to work here. Residuals, check that off. Click OK. Gorgeous. And this is what we get. Um, now, this is the one time where our forecasts and our errors aren't quite right. We need to do another step in between. So we actually need to go modify these two values. Okay. And I'm going to call these guys uh, to match the book here. Uh, beta 0 and beta 1. And to get our modified coefficients, what you do is you take 10 to the power of the coefficients that were there. So 10 to the power of the intercept, and 10 to the power of the coefficient for period here. That will undo the log that you did before. And then, to get your forecasts, your actual forecasts, then what you do is you take your original, so your beta zero here, and you times it by beta 1, block that guy as well, block with the dollar sign, to the power of the x. So beta 0 times by beta 1 to the power of x. And the beta references are locked, the x reference is not, so that you can just copy this formula the whole way down. And those are your forecasts. And to get your errors, you always just take your actual data, which is in D4, minus your forecasts, which are in D4. And that is the exponential trend method. 